Defensively, Ronan Agara is not safe to be left alone. He's a liability. His biggest weakness is head-on tackles because that's all about power. From this scrum, France target and systematically isolate Agara. The calculated dummy run from the back leaves Midad one-on-one with a fly half. The contact is on the 22, but Ogara folds like a deck chair and France have a ruck five metres past the game line. From here, they almost score. Ogara gets the same special treatment from lineouts. Quick ball, Josion drags the outside backs wide. Boxy holds the back row near. Fritz comes steaming down the middle. It's rugby road kill. This time, no mistake, France do score. After first phase, Ogara slips away from that nasty number 10 slot and heads for the serenity of the wing. It's mostly side tackles out there and he can't be picked on in quite the same way. Against England, Ireland was so concerned about Ogara they took Wallace from the tail of the lineout and stood him next to the fly half. Wallace was his minder and with him standing there, England were forced to go elsewhere. Wales are more stubborn than England and they will concentrate on the number 10 channel from lineouts, whether Wallace is standing there or not. Wales will attack with Shanklin or Roberts but it'll be Wallace that goes to meet them and if he does his job, Ogara will be shielded from all the rough and tumble.